may be for cookie, but S stands for spending, sharing, and saving. Our very special and hungry guest, Cookie Monster. He's here to show us how easy it can be to save. Oh, oh, you want me to save it? Sorry. Me save it. Dum -de dum dum dum. a clip from Sesame Street's latest initiative for me, for you, for later. First steps to spending, sharing, and saving where Elmo and the gang learn all about the value of earning money. Beth Kovlander is a personal finance author who helped out with this project and you probably already know our, our other guest, our furry blue cookie loving friend, mm. Cookie Monster. Who ah, is here? <laughs> hello. Cookie is learning about uh, things like delayed gratification and how yeah, yeah. to uh, how to save and oh, not just not uh, <laughs> and not it's just so spend. Yeah. Hard. Well, that's the whole initiative, right, Cookie? The financial yeah. initiative that we worked on together. This project to help children learn how to save, and it's a little bit like waiting, which is very hard to do. Just like you have to wait. Tell me about it. I know you have to me, wait for wait. your birthday to come. Yeah. Wait for holidays to come. Wait right. for the swings. Well, you also have to wait for the goal, the thing you want to save your money for. And it's more than just four quarters equal a dollar. In partnership with PNC, what Sesame Street did was this initiative, which is free online at the website, sesamestreet.org slash save yeah. and this will give lots of information about very simple concepts like value what's value you value a friend you value cookies, <laughs> you value cookies. <laughs> some people value Course. cookies more than anything yeah yeah tell me about it so why is it more uh, more conceptual than just four quarters equals a dollar i mean kids learn that in school all the time but cookie, right. i yeah. mean they, it's money is something that we don't we don't really teach kids yeah. we don't learn about what are you well, learning about well, saving what, and spending what, and sharing. That good. That what me learn. Me learn to have three jars. Yes. One for spending. Yes. One. Ow. For sharing <laughs> and one for saving. And it was very spending, hard for sharing, cookies. saving. That's yeah. right. Spending, sharing, saving. Because he always thought the jars were for cookies. Of course, they're cookie jar. Cookie jar. But they're for three separate areas. And yeah. You by getting those concepts down right. in very user friendly ways and learning about choices, what you use your money for. Yeah. How do you use that dollar to make decisions? Beth, when you're raising your own kids, um, you know, for cookie it's cookies. Mm. But when you're raising your own kids, do you find what they like and try to teach these money concepts around what they like and what rewards them? Absolutely. I think a huge part of that is sort of working toward a goal and maybe you don't have that one cookie today but you can save up for a bigger cookie in a week. Oh, yeah. it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy, it's hard. But me learning. Grown -ups, you're learning, yeah. and you're teaching grown-ups too. By, by doing that, you can teach your parents. I think that's, that's really key, and also sharing. You know, Sometimes if you have a cookie, you give half of it to a friend. And cookie, yeah. tell me one more time. Okay. What? What, do you value your cookie oh, me, more now? Can me see do you cookie? value it now that can you know see the cookie? how to get it? <laughs> okay, <and> this <laughs> cookie for sharing. Oh, We're other you. cookie. Okay. That cookie for Ooh. saving. It's okay. Saving. And give me other cookie. <laughs> and this cookie for spending. Yay! Or eating. Beth Kovlander, thank you so much. And, and again, this Sesame Workshop, a fantastic, uh, a fantastic project to get kids really into financial literacy in a fun, fun way. Yeah. All right, before we go, we want to take a minute to say goodbye and good luck to our good friend and our editorial.